I'm Jamie Irwin. I'm a board certified OBGYN here at Baylor Scott & White. We're gonna talk about your pain relief options during labor and delivery. This is a question I get asked almost every day in my office. What are my options for pain and discomfort that I may have during my labor and delivery experience? The good news is you have choices and we are able to personalize your labor and delivery experience based on what you hope to achieve and how you want to feel. Let's first talk about some holistic options that do not include any medicine. Here at Baylor Scott & White, we welcome you to come in with a birthing ball, a peanut birthing ball, or other options for a natural, unmedicated vaginal delivery. Some patients opt to use a doula during their birthing experience. Doulas are a great liaison between the patient and their obstetric providers and nurses. They can help communicate management plans as well as pain management options. Additionally, doulas and partners can offer massage, can offer counter pressure to a woman's lower back during contractions, and this can help significantly with the pain associated with labor. Some patients opt to use a TENS unit. This is an electronic stimulation device that is applied to the lower back that can really help some women with an unmedicated labor experience. We also offer the use of water therapy. In our labor and delivery rooms, they are equipped with showers that have powerful jets of water that can massage the upper and lower back during your labor experience. These options are best intended for our low risk patients. So you should speak with your obstetric provider prior to your labor experience. As far as medication to use during labor, we have a variety of choices as well. First of all, we have IV narcotic medications that can be used. Some of these are short acting, some of these are long acting. And we customize which medicine we use based on where you are at during your labor experience. The next pain relief option is the use of nitrous oxide. This may also be known as laughing gas, and many patients are familiar with this pain relief method because they have used it at their dentist's office. Nitrous oxide is inhaled through a mask that is placed on the face during the contractions only. Speak with your provider and your local hospital to see if this is an option where you will deliver your baby. Next, we have the option of epidural placement. This is a very common practice and many women choose this as it does offer the most amount of pain and discomfort relief during labor. The epidural is placed by very experienced anesthesia providers who perform this procedure every day. They use numbing medicine locally in the patient's back before the epidural catheter is placed. A lot of women question, when should I get the epidural? Will it wear off if I get it too soon? These are very good questions to ask, and it's important to know that an epidural has a continuous infusion of numbing medicine that ensures you to remain comfortable throughout your labor experience. Epidurals numb the patient up to about waist level, but still allow the patient to feel the pressure as the baby moves down into the birth canal and closer to delivery. The advantage of feeling this pressure is that the patient can push more effectively and have a better chance of a successful and safe vaginal delivery. Bottom line, you have options. Whether you want to have a natural, unmedicated delivery with the use of a doula, with the use of shower massage, or if you would like to have an epidural, we are here to support you. We want your labor and delivery experience to be safe and enjoyable.